Now I got something to show you, and it's gonna be something momentous. Everybody, it's me, the excellent reviewer, and we are here for the official review to Sakura Genesis 2017. And right now, we're going to break down the card. The first match that we have David Finley, Jushin Thunder Liger, Manabo Nakanishi against Hirai Kawado, Katsuya Kitamura, and Tomoyo Oka. I think, generally, in this one, I think it's going to go definitely to David Finley. Liger and Nakanishi because I think they generally have more star power and that generally they are better wrestlers than the than the other ones and they are more well known so I definitely gotta say that David Finley, Liger, and Nakanishi take the win. After that we have eight man tag team action, Bullet Club, Hangman Page, Tama Tonga, Tonga Roa, and Yujiro Takahashi against Tiger Mask, ooh Tiger Mask W, Togi Makabe, and Yuji Nagata. This should be a good one, especially that you have both Tiger Masks, Tiger Mask, and Tiger Mask W. It's going to be insane. Now, I want to say that the good team are going to win, the team of baby faces, but I honestly think that Bullet Club definitely are going to win this one. Why? Because they need a win. They need more wins to show that they are the best stable in all of New Japan Pro Wrestling. So definitely I'm going to say that Bullet Club take this match. It's going to be a great one, especially to see Tiger Mask and Tiger Mask W in there. It's going to be great. After that, we have six-man tag team match. Chaos, uh, Beretta, Rocky Romero, and Yoshihashi against Suzuki Gun, El Desperado, Minoru Suzuki, and Taka Michinoku. Now, I could see that Chaos could definitely t take this win, but I definitely want to see Minoru Suzuki and Suzuki Gun win this match. But however, I'm going to go against my better judgment in saying that Suzuki Gun is going to win, and I'm going to say that Chaos picks up this victory. Either way, it could go either way, but I'm just going to say that my official word is that Chaos is going to win. After that, we have another uh, match, but this is for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championships. Uh, Suzuki Gun, Taichi, and Kane Maru against Jado and Gato for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championships. Now, honestly, it serves them better. So I'm going to say that my official pick for this one is Suzuki Gun. Uh, because Taichi and Kanemaru just won the tag titles not that long ago. So for them to have lose it, and lose it in a short amount of time, it would definitely take a hit to their credibility. Like, how good are these tag team champions? But then again, Los Ingobernables had the same fate the next day at New Year's Dash. So maybe, maybe... It could be in the fates that they lose the match. But I definitely got to say that Suzuki Gun, uh, Taichi, and Kanaimaru retain their IWGP Junior Tag Team Championships. And of that, we have another tag team match. Bullet Club, Bad Luck Fale, and Kenny Omega against Chaos, Ishii, and Toro Yano. Should be a highly entertaining match, especially if you have Toro Yano and Kenny Omega in the same ring. It should definitely be interesting and comedic-like. However, I'm going to go for the Bullet Club once again. Why? Because they need to show that they are the dominant stable in New Japan Pro Wrestling. And it doesn't really do them good if they lose to Ishii and Toro Yanu. However, they were tag team champions. But I'm going to say Bullet Club win and that Kenny Omega win. Too sweet me, too sweet me. Woo! After that, we have another eight-man tag team match. Los Ingobernables de Japón, Bushi, Sonata, Evil, and Tetsuya Naito against... Taguchi Japan, which is Hiroshi Tanahashi, Juice Robinson, Ricochet, and Ryusuke Taguchi. Now, Hiroshi Tanahashi, Ricochet, and Taguchi just won back their six-man tag team champions. Now, I can honestly say I'm going to go for Los Ingobernables. Why? Because they need to show that even though they lost the titles, they are still strong. And I love everyone in the stable I, uh, of, of Taguchi Japan. I love... Tanahashi, of course, Juice Robinson, Ricochet, and Ryusuke Taguchi. However, I feel as though they're not going to really benefit from that win and that it could go to thus proving that Los Ingobernables are truly dominant and they rule New Japan Pro Wrestling. 
So definitely, I'm going to say that Los Angeles Bernabas win this eight-man tag team championship. Next, after that, we have Hiroyoshi Tenzin and Satoshi Kojima defending their IWGP Tag Team Championships against War Machine, Hansen, and Raymond Rome. Now, when I found out that Hiroshi, Hiroyoshi Tenzin and Satoshi Kojima were Tag Team Champions, I lost my mind in joy because I love Hiroyoshi Tenzin and Satoshi Kojima, and especially the fact that they are working together and they are now the IWGP Tag Team Champions. It's, it's truly great, and I love, I love seeing them together. However, especially when it comes to War Machine, Hansen and Raymond Rowe, great tag team specialists from Ring of Honor, I definitely going to say that Hiroyoshi Tenden and Satoshi Kojima retain their tag titles. Why? Because I feel as though they are just generally good with it. And let's stick with what is good for now, as opposed to just taking the title and then, oh, let's drop it off for, for War Machine. I feel as though that Hiroyoshi Tenzin and Satoshi Kojima are good for the IWGP Tag Team Champions. Uh, it elevates them, and it sets a brand new level for the tag team in New Japan Pro Wrestling. So definitely, Hiroyoshi Tenzin and Satoshi Kojima should retain. Next, we have a singles match, our first singles match of the night, uh, Hiroki Goto against Zack Sabre Jr. for the Never Openweight Championship. Now this match should be a really good one, especially with the fact that Zack Sabre Jr. has just joined Suzuki Gun, and he really wants to face Hiroki Goto for that Never Openweight Championship. And Hiroki Goto has been really good in his defenses with Punisher Martinez and other great matches. Now definitely, I feel as though Zack Sabre Jr. is on to something. He wouldn't just challenge unless he knew he was going to win. I mean, for Christ's sakes, he has three titles already in different promotions. But I'm going to say Hiroki Goto retains his Never Open White Championship because I feel as though he really is a better wrestler as compared to Zack Sabre Jr. But that's just my opinion. So I'm going to say that Hiroki Goto retains his IWGP my bad, never open weight championship. After that, we have one of the most highly anticipated rematches of all time. Hiromu Takahashi defends his IWGB Junior Heavyweight Championship against Kushida. Now, if you saw their match at Wrestle Kingdom 11, you saw that it was an incredible match, that both of them were going back and forth, no limits, and Hiromu Takahashi has been having great matches with Dragon Lee, Ryosuke Taguchi, defending that title with his life. And honestly, it's about time we have this damn rematch. Now, I'm going to say that Hiromu Takahashi retains. A lot of retaining in this one. Uh, I'm going to say that he retains because Hiromu Takahashi is just really good with the title. And I feel as though he can out-wrestle. Kushida and Kushida's great. Kushida, I love Kushida, but I feel as though Hiromu Takahashi could beat him anytime, any place. Hiromu Takahashi retains his IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship. Now for the final and the main event of the night, it is Kazuchika Okada, the reigning IWGP Heavyweight Championship, against Katsuyori Shibata for the IWGP Junior Heavyweight. No, my bad, for the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. Now, Katsuyori Shibata did a really great job in the New Japan Cup, and he got very far and won the whole damn thing, and he says, I'm coming for you, Okada, because a few years back, Okada was all like, if you want to fight me for the title, you're going to have to win the New Japan Cup. Shibata did exactly that, and he won the New Japan Cup. So, it, it was natural that this promise would be fulfilled, and Katsuyori Shibata, at this point in his life, and in New Japan Pro Wrestling, he is doing really, really well. Now, I can honestly say that, for my official prediction, I'm going to say Katsuyori Shibata wins, and he becomes our new IWGP heavyweight champion. Because Okada has been heavyweight champion for over 200 plus days in his fourth reign right now. 200 plus days he's been champion. So honestly, I can say that that title reign has been good, but definitely it's time for a little change up, a little mix up to have Katsuyori Shibata, who is one of the most legitimate fighters in professional wrestling right now, who could knock your head off with his single kick, definitely can can be 
one of the best champions ever, and I feel as though it is his time. It is Katsuyori Shibata's time, one of my favorites, one of my all-time favorites in New Japan Pro Wrestling. It is time for him to gain the IWGP Heavyweight Championship, because guess what? Guess what? I think it would benefit the company more to have Katsuyori Shibata as the champion, and generally, it would be way more interesting to watch, because, like I said, like I said, Okada's been champion for over 200 plus days, and, you know, he's been a great champion, but it's time to shake things up a little. Have Shibata beat Okada, because I don't see anyone else who could legitimately beat Okada, because Okada has beaten a lot of great people. He beat Minoru Suzuki, he beat Kenny Omega, and there, there are a lot of contenders, but there are very few people who could actually beat Okada at the professional wrestling game, and I feel as though Katsuyori Shibata is one of those few people who can. So hopefully, he can beat Kazuchika Okada and win the IWGP Heavyweight Championship. So that's been it for my official predictions for Sakura Genesis 2017. Do me a favor. If you want to know more about this, if you want to know more about professional wrestling, you're going to want to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. And do me a favor, let me know who you guys think is going to win at Sakura Genesis. Will Kushida retain and regain his IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship? And will Okada retain his IWGP Heavyweight Championship? Let me know in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't be here without you. I've been Samuel V, aka The Excellent Reviewer, and I will see you all as soon as I can.